coming up next. Does it really matter which fragrance you choose depending on the season, whether it's cold weather, hot weather, you know, seasonal fragrance, fall, summer, winter? I'm going to tell you the scientific reasoning behind it coming up next. Welcome back everybody to Joel The Nose. Thank you for watching. And this is uh, my last video I'm filming before I go to Scent Explore in two days. By the way, if you guys haven't signed up yet, you can still sign up at least for the virtual event. Uh, and it's gonna be a great time. Can't wait to see everybody there who is going. Um, this is another kind of little, uh, I guess, <laughs> uh, fragrance class today called a mini master class. But you know, one of the things we see a lot, right? From reviewers, from just from uh, fragrance aficionados, like all of us fragrance lovers, is when we pick fragrances depending on the season. Now I've talked about this before where I live here in Miami, which is a year long, very hot, very humid. So it's not dry, the, the humidity level is very high here. Um, so, for me, seasons don't really matter because there's no cold, really. We have a few cold days every year, but typically it's pretty much warm all year round. And, you know, obviously it's different from where I'm going to New York in a few days for Scent Explore, where it's going to be in the 30s and 40s, much colder. So I was thinking about this as I prepare to pick the fragrances I'm going to take with me and wanted to think about this combined with the science and, and you know, the books that I've read and the chemistry behind this. And the reason why temperature matters when it comes to fragrances. And this is why you'll see interestingly. For example, I'm just, you know, hold up a bottle here of, this is Poe from Arquiste, which means skin in French. Beautiful, beautiful kind of skin smelling fragrance. Um, if I were to wear this, and this is true with really most any fragrances, and let's say I wear this here in Miami. It works very well for me, and I can be honest with you, most fragrances work very well for me when it comes to projection, longevity, and diffusion, diffusion of the smell. Now, things go into it. I'm not gonna go into biological factors such as your skin, oily versus dry. I have oily skin that helps uh, your diet, what you eat, your natural body smell, all those factor into it. But when it comes to weather, it's actually very important because scent molecules our nose cannot pick them up unless they're heated up. So if a scent molecule is sitting on a scent strip or sitting on your skin and it's too cold, you are not going to pick it up. Your nose will not pick it up because heat needs to be generated to activate the molecules so that your nose can smell it. Humidity and heat help with that. That's why warmer climates, especially warmer humid climates, you can wear pretty much anything whenever you want. You're going to smell it. You're going to get a good reaction. Versus, let's say I wore this and flew out to just say, I don't know, the desert southwest. Uh, for example, Las Vegas, Nevada area during the winter when it got cold and dry. Let's say it was in 30, 40 degrees with very low humidity. Because the temperature is not going to, um, you know, obviously be very high it's not going to activate the molecules. It's not going, you're not going to get the same smell. It's going to be very hard to smell. So this is why you'll see a lot of people say, you know, they'll ask, hey, what's a recommendation on a good fragrance? One of the first things I ask is where do you live? And what time of the year are you wearing the fragrance? Because the reality is if you're wearing a fragrance during a really cold part of the year and you live in cold weather, it's not going to work very well on your skin. What you would be better off doing at that time you're gonna maybe need a little bit more fragrance, and even then it's still gonna be muted, or you can spray on your clothes because the clothes, it's gonna react differently than with your skin, and it typically, uh, when, it, when it's on uh, the clothes, has a different chemical reaction. So uh, that is one thing you can do. The other thing is, obviously, go indoors where it's a little bit warmer, you're gonna get, if it's warmer, you're gonna get that heat, which is gonna activate, and you're gonna get the smells, but again, Fragrance molecules need heat for our nose to smell them. Very important. So just remember that if you're traveling to cold weather, you may want to go for fragrances that have, you know, more base notes, uh, something that's going to stay in your skin longer, something that's a little bit richer versus maybe top notes that 
evaporate really quickly and you may just never smell them because say citrus uh, or eau, eau de toilettes that evaporate really quickly on your skin and you may never even smell them at all because again, they just, you know, <laughs> it wasn't, it was not, did not make it to your nose because there was not enough heat. So that's what it is. So based on that, I'm going to be picking some uh, fragrances going into the cold weather that I think will work better. I'm also going to be spraying more on my clothes than I normally would, and we'll see how it works. But just again, a little education, a little science behind fragrance and why seasons matter and why if you live in cold, dry climates, you're not going to get the same performance or projection as you would as if you live in a warmer, more humid climate. It's just luck of the draw. What's the really final solution? I guess, or the, I mean, the best solution is just move to a warmer place and then you can wear all your fragrances all the time whenever you want, like we do here in Miami. That's it, guys. I'll be back soon with another video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Of course, I appreciate it. And I'll be back soon with another video. Peace, love, and perfume.